Hey guys, what's going on? My name is Lurch, and welcome back to my Iron Man account. As for the last video, it was quite a ridiculous one. The RNG gods were definitely on my side. I kicked things off over at Revenants, where I managed to snag myself my first ever Rev weapon, being the Theron Scepter. Then ducked over to Scorpia, where I tested that Scepter out, and managed to snag myself the final Odium Shard, so I could go ahead and make myself the Odium Ward. Uh, then ducked over to Zolra, where as you can see, I managed to snag myself a Serpentine Visage. On top of that, the Forestry Part 2 update just released, so I went over there and quickly greenlogged that. And as you can see, while I was greenlogging that, got this little fella following me now. The fox, it looks fucking awesome. I don't care what anyone says, one of the best pets in the game. Uh, on top of that, a little bit of skilling up to 2216 total level, and also smashed out a lot of collection logs, getting myself up to 827 collections logged. But to kick things off for this video, you may have guessed it, I'm once again going to go start things off with some Wilderness Slayer. I just honestly have not been able to get enough of this, especially since the recent reworks to the Revenant Caves. So, Crystalia, what do you got for me first, mate? Some Greater Demons? Don't mind if I do. Ah, lovely, there's the first Laren's Key coming in. I think I'll just do what I usually do and stack up ten at a time and then head over to the big chest and crack them open. Alrighty, got myself a hard clue from the Greater Demon task. Also got two easies, two mediums and one elite from some AFK mining earlier. For the easies, bugger all, and bugger all, for the mediums, oh no way, wow, uh, well you don't see that every day, there's some ranger boots coming in, 32 mil, Jesus Christ, I did not know that was still worth that much, uh, and for the next clue, ah, very nice, a black boater coming in as well, you love to see it, let me whack them both on, I'm a little bit flabbergasted by those bloody ranger boots, I haven't seen rangers in years. And actually, come to think of it, I'm pretty sure I have a duplicate uh, Pegasian in the bank from when I was going after my Primordials, and I sure do. Whack that out, and I think I need a chisel if uh, memory serves me correct. Go ahead and use them with a chava. Yes, I would like to make some Pegasian boots. Very nice, second pair of Pegasians on the account, can't complain. Alrighty, and for the hard casket, bugger all, and for the elite, uh, not much else. And just snag myself a task of some Abyssal Demons. I'm pretty keen to see what this uh, Femeron Scepter is like while bursting. I'm still yet to use it for a burst task. This should be good. Oh my god. Did I just hit a 54? 55! <laughs> Holy shit! I'm in pretty dud gear as well. That's nuts. There's a nice little milestone coming in. 100kc at Calvarion. I think I got him. Let me log out. Oh my god, that was close. Ah, uh, lovely. I've been waiting for this task to roll around, but there are 75 bears coming in. Now, usually I would just go ahead and skip this task, because I do already have myself the Void Waker Hilt from Callisto. But just recently, I was actually watching a video from Torvesta, where he fights uh, Callisto using a completely different method. And the method he was using was actually blood barraging Callisto with the Femeron Scepter, while wearing Bloodbark armor. Now, if you are unaware what the Bloodbark Armor set actually does, it basically heals you for, I think it's like 30 or 35%, I'll throw it up on screen, of the damage that you deal to Callisto. So pretty much all the damage you do, you'll be getting a lot of HP back. So you can pretty much AFK it at the entrance and not have to worry too much about PKers. So it sounds like a great plan, but the only bad thing is, the only way I can get Bloodbark Armor is I have to go ahead and do the minigame Shades of Morton, which I haven't even touched before. To go ahead and obtain myself the bloody notes, and then I can make the bloodbark armor using splitbark armor. But uh, this has been something that I've wanted to try for a while, because there is a lot of collection log slots. Uh, I won't run you through it too much, you can watch a guide or something if you want to get into it, because I'm the last person that should be giving advice about guides. But uh, yeah, let's go try out some Shades of Morton. Hey, there they are, the bronze locks coming in. That didn't actually not take too long at all, how many is that? What, 31, 40, very nice. It was a 1 in 61 drop rate too, so you got pretty lucky. Alrighty, on to the next ones. And while the locks aren't the exact item I am looking for at the moment, they are still very nice to get, because I believe I can go ahead and use them with a coffin from this fella. Uh, what are we going to have a chat with him? And there we go, he can whack the lock on the coffin to make it equipable, which also looks very awesome, if I can say so myself, as you can see. And I can store some more uh, remains, as you can see here, in it. So this should make this grind a little bit quicker. Hey, there they are, the steel lock's coming in. Alrighty, on to the black ones. Oh, wow, that was a really quick one. There's the black locks coming in, very nice. Oh, no way, there they are. I didn't think they'd be coming in this early. But there are the bloody notes. 
Alrighty, I guess I'll just finish up uh, opening up the rest of these keys and then, yeah, go and try and make that armor. Alrighty, just cracked open the rest of those silver and gold keys that I had in the bank, unfortunately. No new items, but I'll go ahead and open up the collection log, as you can see. Pretty much halfway through, oh, well, exactly halfway through with the log now. Did manage to get myself nine amulets of the damned, and I will definitely be back here again in the future to try and green log this. But for now, let's go ahead and make this armor. I have arrived at the blood altar. I'm pretty sure all I need to do is use it with the altar, unless I'm wrong. Ah, no, that is easy as you like. Use it all. We have more than enough blood runes to use to make it. A nice sweet uh, 5 rune crafting XP per piece. <laughs> oh no, 25 there. And there we go. There is full blood bark on the account. What does this look like, eh? Oh, it actually looks pretty fucking sick. <laughs> it does look nice. And uh, I'm assuming I'll probably have to come here a few times because I do expect to get PK'd, but yeah, hopefully not. We'll see how we go. Alrighty, off to Ardio. And for anyone wondering what the method actually looks like, uh, this is pretty much it. I just sit here at the exit to the cave, just in case anyone pops in, with my hand hovered above the royal seed pot, of course, just with uh, auto-retaliate on, and it's happy days. Pretty damn relaxed, if I say so myself. And a nice little milestone coming in there is a 100kc down at Ardio. And the final kill of the task coming in. What do you got for me, mate? <laughs> Some death runes, I'll take them. But that was a very successful first trip using this blood bark method. I will 100% be doing this... Uh, in all of the future tasks for Ardio, it's so nice having that little buffer of time just to hit the Grand Seed Pod and get away from the PK. So yeah, definitely the way to go moving forward. And as for the loot, after 72 kills, so 2.6 uh, mil, not too shabby at all. Alrighty, it is that time yet again. Got myself 10 Larens keys to go ahead and crack open here at the big Larens chest. And if we go ahead and check it out, as you can see in the chat box, opened it 137 times so far. Unfortunately, no pieces of Dagenhide just yet. But I'm really hoping for that uh, robe top. It'll actually be an upgrade on the account. Alrighty, let's get cracking. Alrighty, in the final key, come on! Ah, uh, some more iron ore. Actually, I'll take that iron ore. I'm running pretty low on cannonballs. Alrighty, let me go ahead and bail on out of here. And have a little squiz at the looting bag. What are we looking like? Ah, uh, 844k. Not too bad. Hey, that's always nice to see. There's a nice little whip coming in. Thank you very much. And snag myself a hard casket from those Abbey Demons. Any luck, perhaps? A brand new item coming in. Guffix Full Helm. Very nice indeed. Woof. This guy definitely would have killed me. Oh shit, he's got seeds! No! Oh god, thank fuck. Oh no way, there it is. That is the one reason that I've actually been sticking around here and doing these lesser demon tasks. In hope of snagging myself that, there is the lesser demon champion scroll. Oh, very nice indeed. Let me go ahead and tell you on out before I lose that to a PK. Alrighty, if we go ahead and have a little look in the collection log under, what's it called? The champion's challenge. That is actually a champion scroll number four. So six more to go, and then I can go ahead and try and get myself the best in slot cape. Oh wow, I haven't seen one of them in a while, or two of them in a while I should say. There's some uh, trove of parchments coming in, should probably use these on uh, maybe like a fire cape or a defender. I'll have to figure that out in the future. And there's another nice little milestone coming in here at Calvarion, 200kc. Hey, you don't see them very often. There's a nice little dragon pickaxe coming in. I believe that is uh, number three, unless I'm wrong. Alrighty, it's that time yet again. Got myself another 10 Laren's keys. Let's see if I can't get lucky. Ah, oh, there it is. The first piece coming in, the Dagon High Hat. And uh, some top tier fashion scape as well, if I say so myself. Look at that shit. It reminds me of, um, I don't know if any of you guys played Elden Ring, but it reminds me of uh, Rennie. Very cool, very cool indeed. Alright, keep on cracking them open. And for the final key, what have we got? <laughs> some rubies, not too bad. But if we go ahead and check out the looting bag, what are we looking at? 1.1 mil, not too shabby at all. Very happy with that hat. Alright, two more pieces to go. So I'm taking a little break from Wilderness Slayer because the weather where I live at the moment is absolutely terrible and I really don't want to disconnect and get killed by a PKer. 
So I'm on the Shooting Stars bandwagon and there is level 96 of mining coming in. Very nice indeed, only three levels to go. I got myself a couple of clues from the last mining session, an easy, medium, and an elite. Go ahead and crack them open for the easy, sweet fuck all. For the medium, <laughs> not much better. And for the elite, or master. Alrighty, Master Casket acquired, and for the reward, <laughs> here he goes, a new item coming in, the Greater Demon Mask. I'll take it, not too shabby. And snag myself an Elite Casket from some RTO earlier. Any luck, perhaps? Oh, another Master, wow. And Master Casket acquired, any luck, perhaps? <laughs> hey, oh, that's actually a really nice one, the Occult Ornament Kit. Worth all, that's almost a 5 mil clue, not too shabby. Alright, let me go whack this on my Occult. And this is one of the ornament kits that I've actually really wanted for a very long time. We'll go ahead and whack it on. Let me see if I can even see it under the beard. <laughs> Better put a helmet on just in case. There it is. That actually looks sick with a little smoke devil on it. I really like it. Alrighty, keep on going. Oh, no way! <laughs> I didn't even notice it was unique, but there is the skull of Vedion coming in. And that is exactly what I was after from here as well. Alrighty, let's go upgrade that staff. Well, I get so focused on watching for PKs and everything, I actually forget about the drops themselves. So that's actually very nice to get. So as you can see, this is what the Thamaron Scepter currently looks like. But if I go ahead and use it on the Scepter, there it is. I now have the Accursed Scepter. Give me a look at this bad boy. Oh, it looks fucking sick. And this also gives me an extra 7 magic attack bonus over the Thamaron Scepter. But the main thing is I now have a special attack, as you can see in the description there. It's pretty damn good. It lowers their magic and defense levels up to 15. So it's very nice to do. Uh, not to mention the animation is pretty awesome as well. <laughs> it's gangster. I like it. I like it. Alrighty, I better stop slaughtering these poor gnomes and get back to Vedion. Bloody finally! It's been about two weeks of me doing tasks. And there is the first rev task coming in. Alrighty, let's go try and get myself a chain mace, eh? And the final kill of the task. Come on, mate. What do you got for me? <laughs> I'll take the battle staffs, I guess. We go ahead and grab these and telly on out. And uh, as for the good old loot track, after 135 kills, 2.5 mil. It honestly never fails to dis disappoint uh, loot-wise. But I think I might continue sticking around doing Wilderness Slayer up until at least one more Revenant task before moving on to something else. Alrighty, it's that time yet again. Got myself another 10 Laren's keys. Let's see if I can't get myself another piece of Dagenhai. And for the final key, what do we got? Ah, oh, some Celestrious Seeds. Not too bad, actually. And as for the good old price checker, what are we looking at, eh? Oh, 1.3 mil. Not too bad for 10. And just missed it, but there's another nice little milestone coming in at Calvarion. 300 KC coming in. Oh, wow. Well, uh, you don't see that every day. There's a shield left half coming in from some Elder Chaos Druids. I mean, can't complain. I'll take it. Got a couple of clues from some shooting stars for the easy clue. Hey, a brand new item coming in. Very nice. The black plate skirt trimmed gold. Very nice. And for the hard, <laughs> sweet fuck all. And straight after the clue, that's what you love to see. There is the max amount I could possibly get. 150 revenants. Alrighty, let's go smash this out. Oh, didn't even have the recorder on, but just before the end of the task, there is another ancient totem coming in. A uh, free 1 mil to the bank, I'll take it. Alrighty, just finished up with the task, and as you can see in the loot tracker here, after 282 kills, 6.3 mil. The loot from Revs is definitely never anything to scoff at, it's always so nice. But I think I'm going to take a small break and work on a little bit of skilling before ending things off. But uh, yeah, as I said, I think it'll be a very small break, because the Trailblazer League is currently going, and there are so many free worlds for bossing in the wilderness, and so many less PKs about, so yeah, just a little break from Wilderness Slayer. <laughs> And just quickly before I move on to skilling, got myself another 10 Laren's Keys. May as well crack them open, see if I can't snag myself another piece of Dagonai. And for the final key, what do you got? <laughs> Two room plate bodies. That uh, felt a little bit lackluster, them 10. What are they up to? Yeah, 794k. Not the best. And just finished up using the vast majority of my dragon bones over at the Wilderness Altar. Uh, as you can see in the loot tracker here, I got myself 600 from Calvarion. There has been a lot of Wilderness Slayer unbossing that I've been doing, but there just really hasn't been much worth recording. But that doesn't mean I haven't been getting a lot of drops, as you see at the top of the loot tracker here. Over 80 mil. That's pretty much just about two and a half weeks. So yeah, I've been cleaning up the Wilderness Slayer. Really enjoying it. But as you can see in the skill tab here, sitting just under 2k, 295 prayer. So I thought, may as well whack out all of the uh, bird eggs I have in the bank. And I'll uh, see if I can't snag myself an extra piece of evil chicken outfit. 
And if I have a look in the loot tracker, I have already got very, very lucky here. As you can see, I do have myself the evil chicken legs. And it is a 1 in 1200 for the full outfit or 1 in 300 for a single piece, respectively. And if I go ahead and use one egg, as you can see in the uh, little chat box here, I've only opened it 104 times. So, yeah, very unlikely, but you never know. Let's try my luck. As I said, really wasn't expecting anything. And for the final egg, nah, no good. But there is level 95 prayer coming in. Very nice indeed. Creeping closer and closer to that 126 combat. Alrighty, on to the next skill. And finally decided to use up some of the adamant and mithril bars that I've had sitting in the bank for the longest time over here at the Giant's Foundry. Just handed in my final sword. Uh, no, I would not like another commission, but there it is, level 93 smithing coming in, only 6 levels to go. What have I unlocked, eh? Ah, oh, rune squares, very nice. Alrighty, and if I go ahead and have a chinwag to young Larry here, he should first of all hook me up with my cup of tea, thank you very much. And also, where is it? There it is, level 91 construction coming in, very nice indeed, putting me at 20, 20, what is that? 2,220 if I could count, <laughs> total level coming in, very, very nice indeed. I'm getting closer and closer to maxing. I'll get there one day. Almost 300 mil total XP as well. That's pretty nuts. But uh, with that, I'm going to go ahead and bugger off here. And I'll see you guys in the next one.